Hello everybody, what's going on? It's Lubbock back here for another video and today we are playing another Steam game that was requested by this one website that sent me the game and this game is called Tap Heroes and once again it is another indie type of game, little like pixelated type of thing. It is from the same company that came up with Plantera as you can see on the screen right here. So another thing I had to say was I'm turning off the audio and the clicking because obviously you can tell how loud everything is and how loud the music is at the same time so that is why I'm turning this stuff off same idea as Plantera where you can't control the loudness basically the point of this game is that click things just keep clicking things I don't know I wonder how the clicking sounds are gonna work let's, let's Escape clicking actually doesn't sound terribly bad, but escape spamming. <laughs> so I guess my coins are up in the upper right. So just keep spam clicking is the idea again. Basically what the game says to do is just keep clicking. Some of the art just has a person pressing a button, just clicking the button. The model of the game. I don't even know what I'm like. Chris and everything all made with this. Critical. Your heroes proceed to the next thing. Oh, So we're not dying. Quickly. So I don't know how much it's actually gonna record. Uh, fighter, right, get out of the way. Just cause it just keeps making noise. Just cause I have like no commentary over top of this thing. But I don't know how much of this we're actually gonna. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Whoops. But I don't know how much of this we're actually gonna play. But it seems like this is a very easy strategy. Is just to go to these lower levels here. And just keep criticaling, and just keep upgrading the stuff. And then once we get stuff upgraded, we can basically. Let's go to the next area and see what happens. And it takes a little bit more hedge to knock them down. So at the same time, you're clicking them, doing critical damage as your powers. That was quick. And you're also, your guy can also do fighting as well. So if you're like in the shop or something, or other, whatever, your guy, your fighter will do the same stuff. What are the achievements? Defeat 1,000 enemies. Defeat 10,000 enemies. 100,000 enemies. Million enemies. Collect 1,000 gold. So it's just basically collecting crap. And your levels, okay. At the same time, my guy is down here dying. Definitely gonna need to level him up a little bit here while we have a chance so he can do some damage for himself. So we're not sitting here spam clicking the entire time. 
What is the point of this? Who develops this kind of game where you sit here and just keep spam clicking your enemies? I just sit here and spam click. I mean, it would be more interesting if like they roll around, they move around, and stuff like that. But I'm just sitting here just spamming them and just doing high levels of damage. What's this done thing? I don't know what it does. So they're all level 3 guys. So I'm just trying to like level up as much as I can here for my guy. So he has the power to fight himself if we need him to. More health there. Good, so, but I don't know how much of this we're actually going to play. We'll see how it goes. Checking out some stuff. I don't know, like, it's like wizards and, like, warriors and stick fighters and... I'm not really sure what these guys are, but... You know, and the website... I don't remember the website name. If I find it... Oh, it's called, uh... Keymailer. Keymailer is a site where you can go sign up. If you have a YouTube channel and you can request videos, or you could request to get different games, and people that, if they like your channel, they will send you the games for you to record, and then when you record them, you just tag different stuff, different hashtags, and then it, you could upload it to the site, and then they can watch it, and then if they like it, they can send more videos. So basically, it's just... the higher, the better of a YouTuber you are, the more games that you'll get, so it is recommended that you go on and actually record these games. That's what I'm doing. I'm recording them. And you can get more games. And they have higher level games. They have up to like the newest kind of games. They have them too. So they can you can actually get them for free. And you basically just get a key and you can play. So let's go to the next area. So we have to kill ten different mobs or enemies within each area, I guess, to move on. So they were all level, this is all level 4 stuff. I'm guessing they give you more coins based on the level, so if I stay two levels at, or three levels ahead, I should be good at going into each level, I would think. Achievement unlock, probably collect 100 gold, tap, tap, tap. I make sure my guy stays healed too, because he's taking that boatload of damage. So you get four gold per coin, it looks like, from here. Let's upgrade this guy yeah, if we can. It's nice. This just hurts your hand. I mean, you're just sitting here spam clicking with your hand. I don't know how many levels there actually are in this game either. God knows how long that would take. My coins. Need my coins! See how much better it sounds without the audio because just because the one thing I didn't like about Plantera was you couldn't control the audio. There was no control over it. I don't even know if I saw an option that turned off. At least this lets you turn the thing off. So... It's a lot better. But still, it's the same kind of like game formation that it, it's playing. Plantera is a little bit newer, I'm assuming, basically because the new game Plantera is here. So, I'm assuming it's all the same. Alright, let's move on. Oh, what the heck is this thing? The boss! Level up. Yeah! I don't, don't want to keep fighting these things. The guy just takes more and more damage. There we go. It's like I'm not going to keep fighting those chests. There's got chests, we got those things, we got cactuses fighting us. I'm not sure what's fighting us anymore. Got a bunch of achievements though, starting out. All kinds of achievements going on here. So unless, unless it has like the same setup where it's, it's mage, recruit a mage with healing powers. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm assuming everything in here requires like five potions or only one. 
Mage. Why not? We have it. Just buy it. Mage has the power to heal. So I guess I have to buy, I have to do upgrades for both of them. Oh yeah, we will. Okay. Let's get this guy upgrade while we're here. I don't know, I don't think the mage takes any damage. This sits back there. You have to have the will to heal. Are you kidding me? That's one of the levels. He's like, eh, maybe I don't want to just heal. I only want him to heal quickly. I want it to be a powerful heal, too. So I don't have to keep clicking over my guy. I have to keep... I keep forgetting to look up at the top bar, and then I see my guy almost dead. It's like, oh. Okay. It's an interesting game though, I mean, besides just the cons the whole idea is basically sit here, click, collect money. That's the same thing as Plantera too. You sit there, you click things, you collect money, and then you upgrade things, and that's how the game goes. So, it's the same exact premise, basically. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this. Pew, pew, pew. I might actually decide to cut this video around and actually play through the game and then cut it around to see like what I want to include in the video and stuff like that so that's probably what we end up doing so you guys can have like a full experience of the game if you want to come and buy it for yourself I think it was like three dollars on Steam you can get it for so it's not expensive by any means but key mailer you can possibly get it for free and more games My hands just getting sore of clicking. Eventually, I'm just gonna play this until my hand falls off. So basically, how this is gonna work? <laughs> Fighting. All right, let's move on. the fighting shot too so it's not just me doing stuff Ooh. so basically it's like fighting a chest to do that I guess I don't know keep fighting My mage is doing a good job of keeping him healed, so I'm happy with that. That was a good buy. So I think this game automatically saves your progress, too. So if I were to go leave and then come back and play it again, I think I would have the same progress. And it says, while you're gone, you collected a blah, blah, blah amount of coins, and it gives you stuff. So I think that's what happens, anyway. Spam, 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 Bad looking in the desert, that's all I can do in this game. No other opportunities. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna take some time. Criticals, hit the criticals. I'll get my clicking power if I can. I mean, the level, the level basically shows you how many coins, how much coins you get from. So. Very interesting to see what's going on here. This is obvious that I want to see in life. I see myself. Fighting as an archer, having a mage behind me, being attacked by little cactus creatures, and different stuff like that. So, this is how I see myself in life. The future of gaming is right here. This is the future of gaming. If you haven't noticed, who needs all those MMOs and high graphics games and shooters and stuff like that? We got, we can just press the mouse, collect coins, and upgrade our mythical creatures, 
and this is our future. This is how things will go. Maybe if we make it to level 10, we can call this video quits and see if we can beat the boss at level 10. Keep in luck. Lucky charm. Just level 10, so let's just level of our. See if we can get this guy up to level 10 in all standpoints, so we have a fighting chance at our boss. Now, I'm not worried about the health. The health looks fine. The mage is doing a good job back here healing him up. So basically, I'm just here clicking like. Let's see if we can take on this boss. Oh man, this boss has a good bit of health. Oh Jesus. Oh boy. My mage, I'm gonna rely on you. Oh, you're failing me, mage. Oh guys, that's tough one. These guys are toughy. Oh my, it's almost there. Go in the reds. Go in the reds. It's a go get pick. It's a go go pick. We got some go go go. Oh yeah. Now we're in the snowbound. Well, that's where I'm going to call this episode quits, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you want to see more of it, obviously, comment down below saying you want to see more. Like it up. Let's get this rogue in the game while we're at it, because why not? If you want to see more, just smash the like button. We can bring back in. We got an archer in. So that's all I got for you guys today. So I'm just going to spam click this, upgrade this little guy, and then if you want to see more, I will definitely come back and play it. So slap the like button, comment down below that you want to see it played, or if you have any suggestions to other games, It'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next. Are you